Halo badminton lovers, salah satu tunggal putri Korea, An Seong harus menghadapi Chen Yufei yang merupakan wakil China pada babak final badminton Singapore Open 2024. Likes to play uh, rallies. Ancion only likes to uh, control the rallies a little bit extra, but she can retrieve well. Great anticipation skills. Well, the slight delay there because Ancion was doing some stretching exercises, which is a little concerning. Neither did um, Akane Yamaguchi. No, they both had time out for injury, no, didn't they? No, and uh, Yamaguchi uh, lost to Chen Fei earlier on in this tournament. She really didn't look in, uh, particularly. Uh, She looked really, really dominant, and then she uh, got unlucky and uh, maybe played too many tournaments. Uh, I don't know, French Open, so she can still play, but uh, she's not as dominant as she was a year ago. No, in 2020, that's missed that one. In 2020, and this, I don't know what's going to happen, and it's going to be a super interesting tournament, but this. Uh, reasonably high probability that this is uh, this is a pre-match of the Olympic final. Yeah. I think this That's also something that's troublesome for uh, her right knee. And I have to say, if I were uh, Chen Fei, then uh, that would be a big, big part of my game plan. In the <laughs> legs of my opponent. Seven, six. Play back. Even though she's she's controlling her shots quite well, she can't really push it to the back line. There was the double drop. Oh, 
Good judgment. Goodness, how did she get away with that? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Jennifer is serving a high serve when she's playing with the drift, but I think it's, it's uh, uh, the idea that it's the uh, easiest way of putting your opponent on the back line. That's not worth it. No. No one is attacking the low serve anyway. Brilliant. It'll be so interesting to see how especially Anne Se Young reacts because she has in all other situations been cool as a cucumber. Yeah. In terms of that, Carolina Marin and uh, Chen Fei because they've already got one gold back. Oh. Going wide, yep. Putting pressure on her again. Opportunities for the world number one, and say young. Champion and the defending champion here, Unsei Young. One game to good against the Olympic champion Chen and Fei. She's going to block and then lift high instead of pushing too much. I thought I heard him say something. If, if you if you lift high, it's no problem. Oh, that's that. Oh, very very few challenges that have yeah. and overturned a call. Yeah, and, and even if some are overturned, it still might be a, a good line to Kate um, much more accurate. So I think they've been great overall. Wide. Oh, 
Playing the far side there, otherwise uh, Anse Young is uh, taking over control. Beautiful play. She uh, looked to me as if she... is four straight points. Good shot. Quite oh, fantastic. When they say weak follow-up, I rate it as the top five player. For uh, a lot of players yes. it would be absolutely magnificent. lies in the forehand side of Anse Young, but you can't play it all the time. No. Otherwise you end up just playing basically half on the court. Exactly. <laughs> to Chen Fei. <laughs> to the front court now. Another one goes out the back. Yeah. points now to Chen and Fei. Good play. Well, she can play it, but not with confidence. Both players stayed on court while the court was being mopped there, Steve. Yeah. I wouldn't if it was me. Those easy points could end up killing you. Missed it.
missed it. away from the third game. needed for Chen and Fei to send this the full distance. <laughs> Lucky neck cord is one of them. Good shot. Brilliant. My goodness me. long and it's one game all battle now in a third and deciding game for this prestigious Singapore Open title incredible well, I'd have to say I'm not volunteering to show that because <laughs> that would be uh, I wouldn't need it learned the most from the uh, conditions and, and what the opponents are doing I think and the young is on to the fact that he needs to Chin Fei needs to play with a lot of variation sidewise she's got to and that's good follow up that's great Again, good movement forward from Chen Yufei. Oh, and that's it. Good shot. errors also because it's it's a little bit um, oh. counterintuitive that to her normal style thinking who would be the worst player for Anse Young to play given uh, her problems with the obvious problems Tasha Ying experiencing uh, injury problems herself one more cross that's great play That's quick follow up. And she misses. Goodness, good in. net exchange. Oh, why didn't she hit it? Okay. Good 
match. now finishing the match on the side where both players have enjoyed most su success. Yeah. Well, that decision paid it as well. Going wide. And at the moment, she's not got enough openings when controlling. is to lift for Anse Young and that's not appealing when you're playing with the drift. Setelah berduel selama satu jam 17 menit, 
Tunggal Korea berhasil mengalahkan wakil China melalui pertandingan rubber game. Setelah saling mengalahkan di babak pertama dan kedua, kedua tunggal putri itu sempat bertarung cukup sengit di awal game ketiga di mana baik An Seong maupun Chen Yufei saling berbalas serangan untuk menyamakan kedudukan. Namun hal itu tak berlangsung lama karena setelah poin tiga sama beberapa kali pukulan terarah dari An Seong yang gagal diantisipasi Chen Yufei membuat tunggal Korea itu kemudian berhasil memimpin kedudukan. Cover lapangan dan penempatan bola yang akurat serta defense yang solid dari An Seong membuatnya terus mampu menjaga keunggulan hingga ia pun mampu unggul dengan selisih 5 poin pada jeda interval di game penentuan itu. Setelah jeda interval dominasi tunggal Korea atas wakil China masih terus berlanjut. Stamina An Seong benar-benar luar biasa. Meski di game ketiga ia masih tetap menunjukkan permainan yang begitu rapi dengan cover lapangan yang baik dan tembakan-tembakan terukur yang mampu menyulitkan Chen Yufei. Sedangkan ganda China terlihat cukup sering melakukan kesalahan sendiri di akhir game dan membuatnya semakin jauh tertinggal dalam perolehan poin. An Seong pun terus berhasil menambah angka dan menjaga keunggulannya hingga ia memastikan kemenangannya di game penentuan itu dengan skor 21-12 setelah defensif shotnya gagal dijangkau Chen Yufei. Dengan kemenangan ini An Seong berhasil menjadi champion pada ajang badminton Singapore Open 2024 di sektor tunggal putri. Sebagai juara satu, An Seong berhak mendapatkan uang tunai sebesar 59.500 dolar Amerika Serikat atau sekitar 967 juta rupiah dan tambahan 11.000 poin BWF. Sedangkan sebagai runner-up, Chen Yufei berhak mendapatkan uang tunai sebesar 28.900 dolar Amerika Serikat atau sekitar 470 juta rupiah dan tambahan 9.350 poin BWF. Sekali lagi saya ucapkan selamat untuk kedua pemain yang berhasil menjadi juara pada ajang badminton Singapore Open 2024.